Hello everyone, how are you? I hope you all are great. So today is the most important day because we are starting a new chapter of income tax that is most, most, most important chapter. You know why? Because at least the 30%, the 30% of the exam The 30% of exam questions are there from this chapter. Salary. As I told you, there are five heads of income tax. Income under the head salary, income under the head house property, income under the head profit and gains from business and profession that is PTBP, capital gain and if there is no income which is covered in the upper four heads, which is not covered under the aforesaid headings, then it will cover income under the head other suits. Okay, it means there are five head salary, house property, PGPP, capital gain, and other suits. In the previous videos and the lectures, we covered the residential status and house property. In today's video, we are going to start a new chapter which is salary and from today to at least one or one and a half month we will go for the salary because salary is one of the biggest chapter of income tax it covers I think 20% syllabus of whole income tax okay so let's start as I told you there is the basic section of any head like in house property there is a section 22 who says basis of charge what is the meaning of basis of charge it means it says that how can you enter in the how can be how can you assist income how can your income assist under the head house property likewise how your income assist under the head Okay, there are few conditions. In the house property, what are the conditions? Let's tell me. There are the conditions like there must be land and building a partner there too. Okay, there is a land and building a partner there too. And the second thing, assessee must be the owner and land must not be used for the business or profession. Okay, in salary, there are few conditions like employer employee relationship let's read the first condition employer employee relationship which is covered under the head under section 15 employer employee what it means i'm telling you exactly the meaning of this employer employee relationship i'm doing job in the sc college of commerce I am the employee, SD college is the employer. I am getting salary from the SD college. Then my salary is taxable income under the head salary. That is the meaning of employee employee relationship. Employer means who is paying the salary. Employee is getting the salary for their services rendered. Like I am teaching you. Why I am teaching you? Because I am getting salary for this. Okay. If you come to my home and take your take my personal classes and pay me fees, then that fees will not cover under the head salary. That will be covered income under the head other source. Is because there you are not my employer. I am not getting salary from you. I am getting fees from you. That's why. Oh, sorry. Uh, that fees will be covered income under the head PGBP because you are not my employer. That's my profession. That's my profession. I'm not getting salary from you. I'm charging fees for that. Okay. That's it. It means I'm getting salary from the college. Then I am the employer. I'm taking fees from you that I am not employed. Okay. 
let's come to the next point. This is the basic format of salary that how to calculate the income under the head salary. The first heading is particular and then amount and then basic salary and included commission. You know what? What are the complications of this chapter? Okay. In this college, I am getting only salary, not anything else. Suppose you are the district magistrate or you are the SSP of Muzaffar Nagar, then you will get the salary along with the house, the car, the gardeners, the servants and you are also receive many benefits from the government. Then not only your salary but the benefits and the perks allowed by the government to you is also taxable under the head salary. How we calculate the income under the head salary? This is the basic salary. Okay. And the commission and bonus and allowance and dearness allowance. What is the meaning of dearness allowance? The dearness allowance means inflation. Dearness allowance is allowed due to the reason of inflation because the rate of milk is rupees 50 last year and rate of milk is 55 in current year then who compensate for these 5 rupees that's why government pay inflation allowance it means dearness allowance to the employees I hope you understand house rent allowance what is the meaning of house rent allowance? Is it taxable or not? House rent allowance means suppose I am from Mudhapanagar, I go to the Delhi or Chandigarh or Pune or Bangalore for any job purpose. And they said we pay salary of rupees 50,000 plus 10,000 for your house then that 10,000 they are paying for me for house is taxable or not yes it is taxable because if they do not pay house and allowance and pay then they say that okay we are giving you 60,000 as a basic salary do it with your own they do not do it. They bifurcate the HRA and salary in two terms. They say that we will pay 50,000 for your salary and 10,000 for your house. Then that house rent alone will be taxable under the head salary as per the provision. This is just a basic introduction of the chapter. That's why I am not telling you the HRA in details. I will discuss it in the separate video. Okay. Then after child education allowance, if the year employer, if my uh, SD college says that you can say, if SD college says that you can allow, we allow your, uh, we allow your uh, children to study in this college for NDA, for BCom, for LLB, or B Pharma, for radio, uh, any, any, any department. Then whether this allowance is taxable under the head salary or not? Yes, this allowance provided uh, they are providing to me is complete ta completely taxable. Okay, children hostel allowance. If SD college also provide me general allowance, this is taxable or not? Yes, this is also taxable. Transport allowance. If uh, your employer provide uh, you to travel from the uh, your office to your job then this transport allowance like in Delhi the most of the call center provide the cabs to their employees so that is called transport allowance they said uh, we will pay for uh, we will pay 
10,000 or 5,000 for your transport alone, it will be taxable or not. If any, um, in many organizations, the employer provides the entertainment allowance also. Like Google. Google is the heaven of the employees. They provide the many entertainment facilities. They pay for their entertainment. Like if you want to blow up, uh, go to the, any club, we will pay for you. That will be taxable income under the head salary also. Okay, guys. Let's discuss any other allowance. And there are some purchases, purchases of the facility provided by the employer. This is also covered income under the head salaries. Okay. There is a normal procedure to calculate income under the head salary. Do not need to bear. We will discuss each and everything in the upcoming videos. Okay. Bye bye. Take care. This is a small introduction.